And Atlanta City Council, they are expected to sign off on millions of dollars that could change the city's west side. Nearly $23 million, if approved, that would go towards the roads, making it easier to get around town. 11 Live's Joe Ripley joining us live at Atlanta City Hall following the vote on this issue that affects the city's streets and sidewalks. So, Joe, how did this project first get started? So, Faith, the city first applied for this federal grant back in February, and then in June, the U.S. Department of Transportation granted that grant to the city as long as the city promised to foot at least 20% of the project's costs. So, around $23 million in total, all to ensure that streets on the historically underfunded west side of Atlanta are more safe. Along Atlanta's west side, getting around is as easy as shifting gears. But if you don't have a car, we have pedestrians walking in the street. They're walking um, with strollers. They're walking their bikes. Good luck beating the others crossing the road. Adeline Colo is the program director of the Upper West Side Community Improvement District. She says the area from Vine City winding through Georgia Tech and on to West Marietta Street lacks consistent sidewalks. The four travel lanes really does not help people drive an appropriate speed. There's also very few traffic signals, so there's very few reasons for people to slow down. Atlanta City Council is considering a measure Monday that would send 16 million million dollars in federal grants along with 7 million in local transportation tax funds to address the roads here with the West Side Thrive initiative. To actually look at how do we do more pedestrian friendly streets when it comes to walking, when it comes to bike and um, protected bike lanes, traffic improvements, signal improvements and things of that nature. Colo says the project will take West Marietta from four lanes to three, one lane going in each direction plus a center turn lane making more room for a path to walk or bike. Without weaving the different parts of town together, we're really not weaving opportunity together. So the West Side has been historically disenfranchised in a lot of ways. And so the goal is really to knit Atlanta back together. Joe, this is welcome news for so many people in that neighborhood. Do we know when this project would get started? Well, Faith, if it's greenlit and this measure is actually still not up for a vote quite yet on today's agenda, that will come later on this evening. But once greenlit, we understand it could take about two years to get through the design and permitting phase. And then construction, if this measure passes, would begin in a little under three years. We're live in Atlanta outside City Hall. Joe Ripley, 11 Alive News.